Today we are talking about my personal top five classes here in Modern Warfare 2. In other words, these are the top five guns that I have the most kills with here in Modern Warfare 2 as a whole. And these classes would definitely guarantee you guys MGB nukes because it definitely does help me get my nukes as well. If you guys do end up enjoying today's top five classes, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's build out these top five weapons here in Modern Warfare 2 to help you guys get MGB nukes. So the first gun is going to be the TAC-56. This is the most used weapon that I have in this game. I have over like, I think... 15 or 17,000 kills with this gun, just let alone. I love coming back to this weapon because it has that perfect balance of just zero recoil with fast TTK. No matter what you do with it, whether you throw on a bigger mag, it still has a great amount of mobility. Whether you throw on a huge barrel and a stock, it's just overall just a perfect balance. And I want to show you guys one of my number one builds that I love running on this class. So for the first attachment, we threw on the Sacton Tread 40 Compensator for that vertical and horizontal recoil control. This is going to be tuned for recoil stabilization and recoil control. We threw on the Tundra Pro Barrel for that, for that damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. The tunes are going to be recoil steadiness and damage range. Uh, this is maxed out for both of those. We have on the PEQ Box Laser. I love running these lasers because it gives you that mobility bonus without any cons. It gives you that aim down sight speed. I tuned it for more aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. I threw on the TVX Line Pro Stock. That cross movement speed, aim down sight speed, and sprint speed. Tuning it for aim down sight speed and aiming idle stability just to overall balance out recoil control with mobility. And we have one the demo clean shot grip as well for that sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. Tuning it for aim down sight speed and aiming idle stability. This is one of the easiest classes you can use when it comes to the TAC 56 here in Model 52. It doesn't move at all. It's always a guaranteed sweat gun you can use and just have fun with. And the TTK is just for everyone else would be good no matter what. And it's definitely one of my favorite guns in this game to get easy nukes with. So the next weapon is going to be the old reliable King AR in Modern Warfare 2 as a whole. And it's going to be the M4. The M4 has one of the fastest fire rates when it comes to AR with zero recoil. If you guys are overall just looking for a consistent weapon that has never been nerfed or buffed, the M4 is definitely one of those perfect ARs because they never touch this gun at all, no matter what. So for the first attachment, we threw on the sacked and tried for the compensator. You're going to realize I do love running this compensator because it is one of the best ones you can run. That gives you the most amount of recoil control. You tune this recoil stabilization and recoil control. I threw on the high tower barrel for that recoil control, damage range, full of velocity and hip fire accuracy this has no tuning on it i threw on the 45 round mag I just love having a lot of ammo in my gun especially because this weapon does shoot pretty quick so ammo definitely does come in clutch you have on the x10 grip for that sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed tuning it for recoil steadiness and spritz of fire speed you have on the tempest pad strike stock as well for that sprint speed aim walking speed cross movement speed and aim down sight speed tuning it for aim down sight speed the m4 is the king ar it's going to be the king ar probably in Modern Warfare 3 as well it's just overall one of the best guns in the entire game no matter what it has zero recoil the fire rate is insane just for how the gun actually is the tck this is probably the only weapon that has never gotten nerfed at, at all and probably will stay that way so the next weapon is going to be one of the best ar dlc weapons they've ever added in Modern Warfare 2 it's going to be the iso hemlock this weapon is is it's just so good. I love when the DLC weapon just comes to the game and it's one of my favorite guns. It's, it's so good. It kills so quick. It has zero recoil, especially with this class right here and these attachments and the TTK bonus. But this thing is insane. Even though it did get nerfed a couple times, but this class right here will definitely help you guys get crazy easy nukes with this ISO hemlock. I can literally guarantee you that. So for the first attachment, we threw on the Cronin OP muzzle for that vertical and horizontal recoil control. You tune this for recoil stabilization, which is maxed out in recoil control. Um, if you see my stick like moving by itself, just know that it's just maxed out. It's just my controller is just tweaking. To be honest with you, I don't know. I have bad stick drift, but for the barrel, we throw on the field of the T50 barrel for that damage range, full of velocity, recoil control, and hit fire accuracy. I tune this for recoil steadiness and damage range. I have on the on the mini pro, better known as the blue dot. You can run either this one. Well, my other favorite is going to be the slimline pro optic whatever one you feel comfortable with you can use that one i tuned this for aim on sight speed in the eye position to be further away i have on the rcom s4 stock as well for that sprint speed aim walking speed cross movement speed and aim down sight speed tuning it for more aim down sight speed and aiming idle stability just to give it that balance of recoil control and mobility and we also have one the, the blk over press 
rounds. It gives you no enemy skulls. It gives you that insane plus damage, and it gives you target flinch as well. So when you get full damage range and bullet velocity, this class right here, this gun, it is. I will forever and always have love for this weapon. I can't wait to see how good it is in Modern Warfare 3. Just with these attachments, and it's one of the best weapons you can use, and definitely one of the easiest. I can definitely guarantee you that once you get the hang of it and you get more comfortable with this weapon, you will literally see that. This is one of the best ARs in the game today. So for the fourth weapon that I do use a lot in this game, that's going to be the Vaznav. If you know the SMG meta, you know that this is literally the number one SMG in this game as a whole. It's the best gun to use in rank, just, just because of how fast it actually does kill. Even though it has gotten multiple nerfs just that to the headshot multiplier, it, it never really affected this weapon whatsoever. And it always and forever will kill insanely fast. The Vaznav is just, it's just one of the best guns no matter what you do to it. So for the first attachment, we tossed on the Bruin Pendulum for that vertical and horizontal recoil control. This has no tuning on it. We threw on the Sharp Fin 90 on the barrel for that aim and auto stability. This also has no tuning on it. We threw on the Cast 1 barrel for that damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. This also has no tunes. And we threw on the True Tag Grip as well for that aim down sight speed. No tuning on it. And we have one of the Orbs at stock for that aim walking speed and sprint speed. None of these attachments have any tunings on them at all. I just ran it just regular. This is literally one of my favorite builds. And this gun has zero recoil. And just whenever you get point blank, the odds of you losing a gunfight is very slim. Just, just because of how fast this, this gun just kills. And it's just... And it, it is just the best SMG in the game, literally, no matter what. I can literally, for everyone always, and will guarantee you that this is one of the best SMGs and one of the best guns in the game. So last but not least, for this top five, is going to be the cast off segment for you. I fell in love with this gun a couple of seasons ago, and I just love and enjoy coming back and making different classes for it, especially with this new attachment they gave us with that new barrel. I, I, I love it even more. I just, I love using this gun. It's one of the perfect AR SMG hybrids. You can use this literally at any range, whether it's up close, further, medium ranges, is overall just balanced no matter where you use it. And it's just overall just a compact kind of weapon just to help you give you that aggressive play style and fit to your comfort. So for the first attachment, we threw on the sacked in tread 40 compensator for that vertical and horizontal recoil control. We did tune this for recoil stabilization and recoil control. I have one the cast TV 17 barrel, which is the new barrel. This gives you damage range, hit by accuracy, and bullet velocity. I tuned it for recoil steadiness. I tossed on the 45 round mag as well, because I, I just want to have the most amount of bullets I can have in the weapon. I have one of the true tag grip for that sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. Tuning it for recoil steadiness and sprint to fire speed. I have one of the orbs at stock as well for that aim walking speed and sprint speed. Tuning it for aim down sight speed and aim and idle stability. Gas low for 7 for you has literally become one of my top favorite guns in the game no matter what i love it it's overall just perfect and no favorite will always just be perfect and it's just you have to give this a go if you, if you haven't used it in a long time I, I understand why but you have to give it a go it will definitely shock you how good this build actually is that's going to be my top five guns here in modern warfare 2 i want you guys to comment down below if you agree with my list or not and if you don't let me know what type of top five unlist that you do have if you guys are new don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one